if you are looking for the best monitors for PS5 2024, well, you're in the right place. We've dug deep and conducted extensive research, and now we're breaking down the absolute best monitors for PS5 2024. We're talking about the perfect balance between price and performance, tailored for different scenarios. If you're eager to find out which suits you best, don't go anywhere. Stick around till the end, because we've got all the links for the best prices in the description below. No specific order, just the top contenders in the game. Ready to dive into the world of best monitors for PS5 2024? Let's get started! Number 5. Dell G2724D There are some good options if you're looking for the best PS5 monitor on a budget. The Dell G2724D is an excellent budget gaming monitor that's a step-down model from the Dell Alienware AW2724DM, so there are a few differences. It doesn't display as many colors, particularly in HDR, and it doesn't have a USB hub either. On top of that, the G2724D doesn't have an overclock feature like the AW2724DM, but that only makes a difference if you also plan on using it for PC gaming. Besides these minor differences, it's similar to the AW2724DM, especially regarding PS5 gaming. It supports VRR with the console, which most budget monitors don't support. Motion looks incredible, even at 60Hz, so there's minimal blur trail with fast-moving objects. This monitor also has some downsides, as it doesn't have speakers or an audio output. It also has limited picture quality, so if you want a budget monitor with much better picture quality, especially in HDR, check out the AOC q 27 g 3 xmn It uses mini-LED backlighting with a good local dimming feature, but has some bugs and doesn't support VRR with the PS5. The Dell G2724D is excellent for gaming. It has excellent motion handling across its entire refresh rate range thanks to its very fast response time, and it also has low input lag for a responsive feel. It has a 165Hz refresh rate, and it supports VRR to reduce screen tearing. One downside is that it has a low contrast ratio that makes blacks look grey, so it's a bad choice for darkroom gaming. Number 4. Dell Alienware AW2724DM The Dell Alienware AW2724DM is a budget-friendly, 27-inch, 1440p gaming monitor. Part of the Alienware gaming monitor lineup, it's a lower-end model than the Dell Alienware AW2723DF, but it has a lower 180Hz refresh rate. Competing with other lower mid-range and budget 1440p gaming monitors like the LG 27 GP85 Ultra B27 GP83BB and the Gigabyte M27QP, it has gaming features you'd expect to find, like FreeSync variable refresh rate, VRR support, and G-Sync compatibility. It comes with an ergonomic stand that offers the most common adjustments, and it has some RGB lighting on the back to complement your gaming setup. It features an IPS panel, and it's only available in this size as well. The Dell AW2724DM has a gamer-oriented design with an all-black plastic body and some branding with RGB lighting on the back. It also features a hexagonal-based stand that doesn't take up a lot of space. The ergonomics are impressive. The stand offers any type of adjustment, and it keeps the display in place very well when you adjust it. The back also features vents on top, and the stand has a cutout for cable management. The stand is robust and holds the screen very well, and it doesn't have a big footprint either. There's a joystick underneath the center branding to control the on-screen display, and there's a power button on the right side. The Dell AW2CF and 24DM is excellent for gaming. It has a native 165Hz refresh rate that you can overclock to 180Hz, and it supports all common VRR formats to reduce screen tearing. Motion looks incredibly smooth, especially at high refresh rates, as it has a fast response time, and gaming also feels responsive thanks to its low input lag. Sadly, it's disappointing for dark room gaming, as it has a low native contrast ratio that makes blacks look grey in the dark. Number 3. Gigabyte M27U The Gigabyte M27U is a 27-inch 4K gaming monitor. Part of Gigabyte's M-series lineup, it's a smaller option compared to the Gigabyte M28U and the Gigabyte M32U, and it has many of the same features. Designed as a gaming monitor, it has 24 GBPs of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, which lets you play games at a high frame rate from consoles or gaming PCs. It also has native FreeSync variable refresh rate, VRR support, to reduce screen tearing, 
and G-Sync works with NVIDIA graphics cards. Besides its gaming features, it has productivity perks like a KVM switch so you can switch between two devices and use the same keyboard and mouse. It also has a USB-C port with DisplayPort Alt mode, but it's limited to 15W of power delivery. The Gigabyte M27U has a rather simplistic design that aligns with other Gigabyte monitors. It features black plastic throughout with both glossy and matte finishes. And while it's a gaming monitor, it doesn't have a heavy gaming aesthetic. The build quality is good. The plastic body feels sturdy as there aren't any obvious issues and the plastic doesn't flex easily. The screen is stable on the stand, but it wobbles more when you adjust the height to more than halfway up. The controls on the back, including the KVM switch, also feel easy to use and register the inputs well. The main issue with this monitor is that when you enable the backlight strobing feature, there's an audible coil wind noise that's very distracting, but it stops once you disable the feature. The Gigabyte M27U has OK ergonomics. You can easily move the screen up and down, but can't turn it to show something to someone next to you. It also features basic cable management through the stand. The V-shaped stand takes up some space, and there isn't enough room between the legs to put your peripherals, so your mouse and keyboard need to be in front of it. Number two, LG Ultra Gear OLED 27. The LG Ultra Gear 27 GR95 QEB impresses with stunning OLED picture quality and speedy performance. Though it doesn't get overly bright, it's still one of the finest gaming monitors we've reviewed. The LG Ultra Gear 27 GR95 QEB 999 is one of the most gorgeous gaming monitors I've seen yet. That's good news considering I've been eager to test this OLED monitor since LG first announced it late in 2022. The screen size of the device is 27 inches with a resolution of 2560 x 1440. It boasts a refresh rate of 200 Hz. In terms of inputs, it includes two HDMI 2.1 ports, one display port, two USB-A ports, one SPDIF port, and one headphone jack. The dimensions with the stand are 23.8 x 22.6 x 10.2 inches, while without the stand, they are 23.8 x 13.8 x 1.8 inches. The weight of the device is 16.2 LBS with the stand and 11.1 LBS without it. With a 240 Hz refresh rate, a super low 0.03 millisecond response time, and support for NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync, this monitor certainly ticks those boxes. But even if you're not a professional esports competitor, you'll still benefit from the monitor's responsive performance. The LG Ultra Gear 27 GR95 QEB is the first gaming monitor I reviewed in 2023, and I can already see it being one of this year's best. Yes, its display doesn't get as bright as some competitors, but it's hard to argue against its ultra smooth performance and extraordinary picture quality. Its relatively small size and understated design are also aspects I appreciate. With that said, I would have scored it a tad higher if I didn't need a remote to access the menu. Number one, Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 S32B G85. The Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 S32B BG85 is the first 4K 240Hz monitor available to the consumer market. It features a 1000R curve and is released alongside the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7 S32B G75, which is a similar monitor with a 165Hz refresh rate instead. While there are many similarities between both monitors, the G8 has a few extra advantages like a different screen coating. It comes with a bunch of gaming features like free sync, variable refresh rate, VRR, support, and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth if you want to play 4K games at high frame rates from a compatible PC or gaming console. It also has mini-LED backlighting that provides greater control over the local dimming zones compared to most monitors. The Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 has a gamer-oriented design that's similar to the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7 S32 BG75, but the main difference is that the back is white instead of black. The white plastic on the back is glossy and the black bezels are matte. The aggressive 1000R curve helps bring the edges within your field of vision, but some people might not like it. If you prefer a flat screen with a better viewing angle, check out the LG 32 GQ 950B instead. There's also a ring of lighting on the back. The Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 has good build quality, but it isn't as good as what you would expect from a premium monitor. It's well made with good quality plastic, and there aren't any issues with how it's put together. However, there's a considerable amount of wobble, especially when you try using the controls. The Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 has great ergonomics, 
You can adjust it how you like, but as the swivel range is narrow, it isn't ideal if you need to share your screen with someone else. The stand has a clip for cable management to route your cables to the inputs. The wide set feet take up a good amount of space, so you need a deep desk to place it on, but there's space between the feet to put a keyboard and mouse. 